to my channel. If you are new, my name is Harmony and I'm so excited to have you here. As you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the new iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm super excited because I have been wanting this phone since the first day I saw it come out. I was actually going to get the 13 Pro Max and I'm so so happy that I waited and now I have this one so I'm super excited and I'm going to be showing you guys all the new features on this new phone and kind of how it's different from the old iPhone. I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max right now. I really liked this one when I got it. I got it when it first came out whenever that was. The only thing I've ever had to do was replace the screen. That was because I dropped it so that was my bad but in the last few months, it has recently been glitching a lot and just causing me a lot of problems. I do a lot of things on my phone and I create a lot of content and I use my phone for pretty much everything in my life. So having a phone that works well is really important for me. So I decided to upgrade to the new phone. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's a little bit different than the normal content on my channel. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the unboxing and the first impression. Yeah, I got my phone a few days ago. I haven't opened it. I've had so much self-control, you guys, because I've been wanting to open it. But I really wanted to do it on camera for you guys, so I waited. I ordered my phone last Saturday. It wasn't supposed to get shipped until like October 14th. So I wasn't expecting to get this until the end of October and it came five days after I pre-ordered it. So I'm super excited. I have a few cases that I ordered on Amazon, so I'm going to share those with you guys as well. So, let's do the unboxing first. I decided to go with the gold iPhone 14 Pro Max. I felt like the gold was such a neutral color, and I felt like it would go with a lot of the cases that I like. So, this phone just really fit my vibe, and I love it. So, here she is. So beautiful. Oh, nothing like a new iPhone. I'm gonna take the little plastic part off and then here's a little side by side of my old iPhone that's the 12 Pro Max and that is a gold one as well but you could see that the 14 is a lot more gold compared to rose gold like the 12. One thing I truly appreciate about Apple is how convenient they make switching from one iPhone to the next you literally just scan it and all of your information transfers which now that I think about it is how they sucker me in every time. I'm going to set up my face ID. If you guys don't know what face ID is, it's basically just a way to unlock your phone with your face. I don't know how they do it, but I'm obsessed with this feature. This is definitely one of my favorite features that iPhone has ever come out with. Okay guys, so I'm going to transfer all of my data right now and then I think it's going to take about an hour and 45 minutes to set up which by that time I'm going to have to leave to go to cheer practice so I think that what I'm going to have to do is just set it up right now and then when I get back from cheer practice I will kind of give you guys like my first impression about everything and kind of how I like the phone and what features are new on the phone compared to the old phone. I said it's so hot in my office right now. I'm sitting here like I don't have the fan on or the window open because it's loud and I just don't want that noise. And I'm sweating bullets right now. Like it's so hot. All right, so my phone is transferring the data from my old phone to my new phone. This one is my old phone and this is the new phone. As you can tell right here, this part looks different. This is the dynamic island. We will get into that later on in the video and kind of go over what that feature is and what is different. I'm also going to be comparing these two iPhones, the iPhone 12 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I feel like the 14 looks smaller. What do you guys think? But I would like to just be able to get into my phone. <gasps> Ooh, yay, I'm so excited. I was not expecting that. Out with the old and in with the new. My phone is just finishing up setting up. I want to show you guys my outfit. Not that maybe asked, but I'm going to show you. This is a flannel. These were so in when I was in high school and now they're like back in and I'm just so here for it. And then I'm wearing some like Gymshark shorts, but my flannel is pretty long. It's almost like a dress, like you can't see anything. Wearing some Burks. I'm so obsessed with these shoes. Oh, it turned on. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. 
All right, so this is what it looks like. Oh, this is how my apps look right now. I'm going to change it later. Okay, real quick, I wanna show you guys my case. So this is the case that I ordered from Amazon. It's like a sparkly rose gold color. So I'm gonna open this and show you what it looks like on the phone. There wasn't too many options because this phone did just come out not even a month ago. Well, this is what it looks like. I love pink, clearly. This is my computer case. This is how it looks with the case on. I'm going to change my wallpaper just because it's like a new phone, new beginning, you know? So I will see you guys when I get back home and we'll play around with it a little bit more. So I'm going to kind of show you guys how I'm going to set up my screen. This is my old wallpaper. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to change it to, but I wanted to kind of play around with the new feature of the new wallpaper. Here is like kind of the setup of how you can do it and like the different ways you can put the numbers. All right, I'm trying to decide what I want to add on here. So I added the weather. I think I'll do my calendar. I think that's good. So let's just do those for now. And then that you can like change the font and the color, which is super cool. Obviously, I'm going to do pink because pink is my favorite color. We can change the font of that. Just kind of different and cool. And that's it. I'm honestly not going to keep this picture, but I just wanted to do that for now. I will have this and the screen protectors that I did order down below in the description box. Um, I also had ordered this case. This is just like a pink case, but it looks a little like cheap but it does feel like pretty sturdy so i i'll link this one down below too i don't know if i'm gonna end up using it it just looks a little cheap to me but we will see let's go in real quick to look at the biggest differences between these two iphones so we're gonna just go on the apple website so you can see here we have the iphone 14 pro so we're gonna just go learn more and this is the biggest thing that Apple right now is promoting for this iPhone is the dynamic island. So that is a new feature that this iPhone has. So let's go to tech specs and see. Um, these are all the colors that it comes in. So this is the iPhone 14 Pro. This is the 14 Pro Max. That is the one that I have. So we're gonna do the 14 Pro Max with the 12 Pro Max, which is what I have. And let's see. So these are the two that we're looking at right here. They're both the 6.7 inch display. This one has the Dynamic Island, which is a new feature that I'm not too familiar with, but I definitely will be obviously getting Automatically, the first thing that I noticed, the biggest difference between these two phones are the camera size. I'm not sure if you can tell like on camera how much bigger this camera is than this one, but it really is a lot bigger, which is like the first difference I've noticed. This has six times optical zoom range, and then this has 29 hours of video playback as opposed to 20 hours with the 12 Pro Max. This has a ceramic shield front and it's supposedly tougher than any smartphone glass. So we'll see, I actually just shattered my iPhone 12 a couple of months ago. It just fell and broke. I try to be very careful with my phones. That was the first time I've actually shattered an iPhone. So that's pretty good considering I've had a million iPhones. So something a little bit different from this phone is that it does have a one terabyte capacity, which the iPhone 12 Pro Max does not. There's just a few things on here that I'm not too like familiar with, like I said, but always on display. Hey guys, I'm literally editing this video right now, but I just wanted to give you a little update because I tried out the always on display and I'm like low key kind of obsessed with it. So I didn't really understand like the point of it and I'm sorry if you can hear my, <laughs> my boyfriend snoring, but I just really wanted to add this part in the video because I really like the always on display and at first I was like, what? That doesn't make sense. <gasps> oh my God, I forgot to add something else. Another thing is that the notifications come on the bottom now instead of like the top of your phone. So like before they would come up like up here 
and now the notifications come on the bottom and i really didn't like it at first like i tried to change it and i couldn't figure out for the life of me how to change it if you know how let me know in the comments down below but i could not figure out how to change it and then i just gave up and i just started to get used to it and i'm like damn every time apple comes out with an update i always have something to say about it i'm like oh my god it's so stupid and then i end up loving it every time i turned it off on my phone but it just like the display was literally always on so i turned that off because it's just not something that i feel like i want and then when it comes to the width i was right so this one is a little bit wider so this one actually is bigger the 12 pro max which is a little bit interesting so this one's a little bit wider the 12 with the video recording it has a better video camera so that's cool since i do do a lot of content on my phone so yeah that's pretty much like the biggest difference honestly i didn't see much of a difference besides just like the new upgrades and stuff i'm super super excited for this phone i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a little bit different from the content i normally do make sure you guys subscribe for more videos if you guys have any questions about the phone let me know in the comments down below i will try to pop on here maybe tomorrow and just kind of give you guys a little you know 24 hour update with the phone how i'm liking it and all that good stuff i will see you guys in a little bit okay guys so it has been a few days since i opened my new iphone and i'm going to be sharing with you guys some of the features about the phone that i really really enjoy and that i really like so let's just jump into it the first thing is the dynamic island so it is basically this top part of the phone my biggest thing about this that i really really like is that if somebody calls me when i'm like doing something on my phone i can easily just answer with the dynamic island and i don't have to like go away from the app that i'm using if that makes sense you can literally like put it on speaker and it just is so convenient i'm obsessed with that feature of the dynamic island i also like how when you're using maps it comes on there so you can have your maps on the top of your phone and it just makes it a lot easier so the next thing is obviously the phone holds a larger charge which i really enjoy and appreciate because i use my phone all the time so having a really good battery life is super important for me when it comes to a phone the new update i really like and i'm glad that i waited to update my phone like i didn't want to update my 12 because i felt like it would kind of slow it down even more so i never updated it but i really really like the new update my favorite feature about the update is the home screen so as you can tell i did change my picture so this is just a picture of my boyfriend and i from when we were in new york at the edge so i just chose kind of like a random picture but i love how you can make the numbers a color like that is such a cool feature and then on the screen you can put like widgets so i have my alarms the weather and my calendar so that way literally you can just like click on it and your calendar opens i also really like the widget features on the phone so this for example like this is the i am app if you guys don't have it i highly recommend you to download it it is a affirmations app so it sends you positive affirmations throughout the day you can put it to however many you want to receive a day but this one when you make it big on your phone, it literally just shows you a positive affirmation. So this one says every day is an opportunity to improve and it just will send you random things like that. So I really like having something like that on my phone. So when I open my phone, I see positive affirmations and it just helps with my mindset and being more positive. The last thing that I'm obsessed with with this feature is something that's like not that big of a deal that some people might not really care about this feature, but I personally do is the youtube picture in picture so you can literally be watching a youtube video i'm gonna screen record and just kind of show you guys you can literally go on youtube click a video and then go away from it and you can literally do whatever you want while you're on your phone which i think is just like the coolest thing ever those are the main features about this phone that i really really love and overall i really like this phone a lot obviously i've only had it for a few days now but i've had an iphone since 2012 so it's been about 10 years the first iphone i ever got was the iphone 4s and i loved that phone so much it's just crazy the evolution of iphone it had pretty much like almost all of them except i like skipped a few you know like i think that the the 13 and the 12 were pretty similar so i never got the 13 
um, but I did have the 10, the 11, the 12, and now the 14. So I've had a lot of iPhones in my life. I'm the type of person that likes the new stuff. So yeah, shout out to my dad because I'm still on his plan and I'm not gonna lie to anybody. I'm gonna ride that wave until I cannot ride it any longer. So shout out to Robert Jones. Thank you for, you know, having me on your plan. I appreciate it. Um, I'm gonna end this video here so I can edit and get it up for you guys. This weekend if you are not one of my subscribers I highly recommend you don't be fake and you subscribe even if you were just here for the iPhone video you should stick around because I have lots of other good content my next video will be a vlog from the Padre Dodger game and the Chargers Raider game so stay tuned for that if that's something you're interested in and yeah I make lots of lifestyle content and I'm really excited for the months to come and all the videos I have planned especially now that I have a new iPhone <laughs> But okay guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.